Assalamu alaikum my dear falconians of level 5 i am your science teacher ms maharehan and today in this video i am going to continue unit number 11 electricity and magnetism as you have already know that in the previous video we have started our topic 11.2 static electricity now in today's video we have to complete this topic because the static electricity contains two important examples which i have to discuss in today's video so our topic of today's video is static electricity now first of all let me give you the overview of the previous video what is a static electricity i have already discussed with you the definition and working i am only giving you the overview of the previous video what is static electricity static electricity is caused by rubbing two objects together and this rubbing between two objects is called friction as you know that when the rubbing of two objects occur what will happen there is an imbalance between the positive and negative charges between the objects and whenever the imbalance occur this results in an electric charge and the static electricity is produced so the static electricity is correlated with friction whenever the static electricity is produced friction is automatically produced with the overview now let me give you the explanation of two examples of static electricity the first first of all this is the simple diagram of static electricity as shown on your slide there is a balloon and a wall the balloon contains the negative charges and the wall contains the positive charges but when this balloon and wall rub together rubbed against each other the positive and negative charges will be transferred from one another and there is an imbalance between the charges then the static electricity is produced now moving on towards the first example of static electricity which is example of water for example if you put the comb what is comb by which you comb your hair if you put the comb near the water what will happen the water will bends towards the comb why why this is happening this is happening due to static electricity now let me tell you the whole experiment running a comb through your hair creates friction and by the help of this friction it enables the electrons to move from the hair to the comb and it will charge the comb with static electricity for example it will charge the comb with negative charges with electrons now the comb now has an negative charge when you hold the comb near water what will happen the side of the water nearest the comb then has a positive charge and the attraction as i have told you earlier that the positive and negative charges always attract each other so the attraction between the positive and negative charges results in the bending of the water towards the comb that is why the water always bends towards the comb due to the presence of static electricity due to the attraction between positive and negative charges this is the simple diagram of the experiment for example this red one is a comb and the blue one is a water as you can see the water is bending towards the comb by the whole experiment as i have explained you now moving on towards the second example of static electricity which is example of lightning now what is the meaning of lightning lightning means the thunder storm which occurs in the atmosphere Did you know that lightning is an example of a static electricity and lightning is caused by the rapid movement of electrons in clouds as i have told you that lightning is a discharge of electricity in the atmosphere we can see the electrical thunder in the atmosphere because the electrons are moving in the clouds and due to the movement of electrons in the clouds it will cause lightning in the atmosphere the temperature of a lightning ball can be as high as 
30,000 degree Celsius and 30,000 degree Celsius is a very high temperature that is why it is said to you that whenever the lightning is occurring or whenever a thunderstorm is occurring the human should not stand outside because it is very dangerous for us the temperature is very high as I has 30 degree 30,000 degree Celsius Lightning bolts can travel at around 210,000 km per hour. Now, let me show you the diagram of lightning. This is the thunderstorm which mostly occur during rainfall. So, it is very important for us to save from this thunderstorm because this lightning is not good for us as it contains a very high temperature. I hope you all get my point level 5. Now what is your home assignment? Open your science copies and write down today's date on a new page. There are two questions. Write down the first question with blue color. The first question is, can you explain in detail why the water bends towards the comb? You have to write down the whole experiment in your own words. By com uh, First of all, read down the experiment from book page number 92. Then write down that experiment in this question. Then the second question is, lightning is an example of a static electricity. Give reason. You have to give the reason of this statement. This statement is written in your book page number 93. Complete these given questions in your science copies. Inshallah, I will be meeting with you with the further on topics till your next video. Till then, take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz. Have a nice day, level 5.